hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here a very big welcome and if you're not new thank you so much for tuning in my name is nello a nigerian based youtuber okay <laughs> anyways guys so today's video is a story time and this is something that happened to me this past six weeks basically the two stories i'm about to tell you guys happened this past six weeks okay so let me just jump into the video you guys will have a visitor like i put him to sleep oh, and i wanted to film this video and then he woke up and now i have to carry him like my husband is not around for the next three days so this is what i have to do with on my own anyways i'll survive getting um on into the video so this is my story about finding help this past six weeks or so so i should start by saying that i actually use agents to find these people and you know what after the second one i'm like i'm not dealing with agents anymore because i don't even think that they know who they are bringing to you i thought the whole point of going through an agent was because you know they finished vetting that person for the role or just like at least know one or two things about the person they're sending to you but hey you guys i don't even think it's the best and i'm never never doing it again so the first one came to my house you know i paid the agency fee paid for her transport and everything and she came from lagos okay and she came all the way to my house and then um you know that evening kobe was sick i didn't really have time to chat with her so then she just came slept and then the next day i went and i was just trying to get to know her better you know this person that is coming here to stay with me like trying to just find out one or two things i could have like from her and then she i was not like okay so where were you staying before and why did you leave and then she goes oh she was staying with her madam before that she has stayed with the man for like a year or something i don't know and then her madam's husband started trying to sleep with her so she had to leave the place she was like uh, auntie you know i know they do that kind of thing as as you come one sleep with me now so i just pack my bags can leave oh you guys forgive my pigeon english but basically you know she kept this innocent face and she just said it and you know what in my mind the moment she said that i could tell that she was lying like i could just tell that the girl was a liar at that moment and i'm just like you know i told my sister i'm like this girl that has already started with this story i don't even trust her i don't like her because i can tell clearly that she's lying i feel like you know she's trying to make me think she's a good person you know that that was why she left her other place because the man was trying to sleep with her so she wants me to just like buy that and believe that she's a good person but i just didn't buy it i just didn't and you know she stayed with me you know and sincerely she stayed here for a week or so just a week and for that week i just wasn't comfortable doing anything i couldn't let her touch anything because i didn't trust her i couldn't even let her take care of like stay with kobe alone in the parlor without me being there because i didn't trust her like you know when your mind just did not accept somebody and i was like you know what i'm just going to let this girl go and then she came up with the story that she did appendix she didn't know if they removed it well that the thing is paining her and i'm like it was paining you and you know you did a recent operation and why did you choose to walk you know and i just had it i just had it with her and i just like you know you have to go so i called the agent and i'm like see what happened see what happened blah 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 oh and then the girl was a pathological liar you know when you just set trap for somebody and she falls for it and still lies about it and i'm just like i can't deal i hate people that lie to me like i detest it so i let her go and the agent apologized that she will send somebody for me this time that the person is going to be perfect the person is going to be this and that i'm like okay i can give you guys a second chance because i would like she has to pay me back my agency fee and everything because she saved me one week like i cannot just lose money like that at this point everything i've paid for this one girl was already like 40k or so plus the agency fee and every other thing anyways um she now sent me a second person who when she came like seemed like okay she was going to be okay this person is really where the story is <laughs> she came she was all quiet and just really well behaved you know and my spirit actually accepted her you know when your spirit just accepts someone i could leave her and kobe in the parlor to be playing i could you know I, I i didn't leave her at home alone at any point but i was just a little bit more comfortable with her like i could let her bath kobe and be with kobe and just help me out when i'm cooking like help me blend the tomatoes or something just basic things like that but people don't really cook for me i enjoy to cook so i prefer to cook my own food myself so um yeah but she was really helpful around the kitchen and around the house you know before i wake up she cleans the house 
What is it? Before I wake up, she cleans the house. She helps me get Kobe ready for school. I take Kobe to school and then she just rests till Kobe comes back because sincerely, there's really nothing much to do in my house. Like, once this one is in school, this is all the work, you guys. This boy right here is work. Anyways, things were going well, you know, and eventually, like, I now asked her, okay, what's your aim? Like, you're here to to get paid, you know, like, what do you want to use that money for? I wanted to know ways I can help her. Then she opened up to me that she actually has a son that is Kobe's age. And I actually felt for her, like, you know what? I'm supposed to pay you a certain amount. I'm going to add a certain amount to it because you have a son. So you have money to send home to your sister who is taking care of your son and then also have savings, you know, so that when you're done staying with me, you have something to fall on, you know, just something to fall on to because you cannot just send away money to your son and at the end of the day, you have nothing to go home with. And she was really understanding and I liked her. Everything was going well. I remember calling my sister, telling my sisters, I think I found the person that will, you know, stay and just stuff like that. Till one Saturday morning, you know, one early Saturday morning, me and my husband were generally sleeping on our bed and the man calls us and was like, your girl is about to leave the gates she has her bag packed and i'm like i don't understand the night before everything was perfect and i was supposed to pay her her salary that money like the money that this happened so i don't even get why she would want to run away on that day of of all days you know so i was like i don't even know why she wants to run away on that day of all days and then i went to the room where she says her room opened the wardrobe she had finished packing all her bags and then my husband and I quickly went downstairs. At that point, I don't know what the gay man was doing because the girl at that point was nowhere to be found, you know. So we went around the compound. Me, I remember driving around the streets and just around trying to find her. And then I couldn't. And then my husband, who was looking in our neighbor's houses, found her bag. She threw her bag over the fence. So my husband saw the bag and brought it in. And then we started searching the bag. As I was searching the bag, at this point, we still haven't found her. We just searched the bag. We saw some things that she stole. She stole things like pants, um, Kobe's shoes, uh, tops, handbag, perfume. Just basic things that she could pick around the house, you know. And um, we were still looking for her. Then when it got bright, because this thing happened very early, it was still dark. When it got bright, my husband went outside again to look for her in my neighbor's house and now saw that she was hiding. I don't know how this girl left the gate. She jumped the fence, probably. She was hiding in the bush. My neighbor had like a small, like, garden, bushy area, whatever. She was just there, bent, and was hiding. So my husband brought her in and I asked her questioning her, like, you know, like, I don't get it. Why would you do this kind of thing to me? Why would you want to run away? And, like, even you are running away, I was supposed to pay you this money. So which money were you planning to use? She was not like that. She stole my money. I'm like, wait. The thing that actually made this girl to do all this thing was because the day before I went to the market with her, I withdrew some money and I bought things. Like, I have kids. I have to buy diapers and food stuff and just milk and just all that good stuff. So I spent a lot of money that day trying to, like, buy things that will last us for a, for a month. And because that was like end of month and then i had change in my wallet the change in my wallet was like 25k thereabouts and that was the money that tempted her you guys it was just the fact that she knew that i had that money and i normally leave my wallet in the car and lock the car and bring the key upstairs so this girl actually early that morning sneaked out the key went downstairs opened the car opened my wallet stole the money locked the car back came back up kept the car key and then packed her bags and started running away and then I asked her, like, why would you behave like that? She not started saying uh, that, you know, there's this devil in her that normally, this devil in her that sometimes the devil is quiet, but sometimes the devil tells her what to do. That it was the devil that entered her and told her to behave like that. I'm like, no, 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 this, this has nothing to do with the devil here. That money you stole from me, you have to provide it. Like, where is the money? And at this point, the money was not in her bag. She was like, it was in her bag when she threw over the fence. But at that point, we couldn't find the money. And then... Our neighbors, like, the thing was very chaotic. Our neighbors now told us that they actually saw her in the night when she went down the street to do something. And at that point, I'm just thinking she definitely went down the street to, to hide the money somewhere. So that this morning when she, like, um, what's it called, when she runs away, she can go and pick the money back up. But just know that after all said and done, we even took her down the street. We tried everything. I've never like experience kind of thing in my life before like she she even made me like i don't know how to be the kind of angry i was that morning I've, I've never been that angry in my life before because i'm like i really really like this girl and i did everything possible to make her comfortable and then this is how she repays me and then this girl at the end of the day did not bring out the money and you know we wanted her to leave that day but she wasn't able to leave and the next day 
I then went to talk to her again. I'm like, I really want to understand why you felt like you needed to run away. I was already paying you enough money. Like, what you stole was nothing compared to what like you get, what the benefits and everything. And then she goes that sincerely that she needs to go for deliverance. That she that devil lives in her. The devil this, the devil that. And you know what? I'm like, so is the devil that tells you what to do? She said yes. That sometimes the devil tells her what to do, and the devil can tell her to harm somebody in this house, like harm my baby and the place she was living with before. That one time the devil told her to lock all of them in the house, throw away the key, and run away. And that was how she left where she was living before. Blah 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 blah. And I'm like, you know what? Pack your bags. You're gone. Like I can't. This whole devil talk, you guys. Like it might or might not be the devil. I'm not believe myself like that. But if she says the devil is disturbing her, she believes in it. That's her problem, and I don't want her problem to be my problem. So at that point, I'm just like you know what? Pack your bags and go in. And at this point, I've lost so much money from this agent. And then I called the woman. She was like, oh, she's going to reform me. Blah blah blah. And she barred my number, guys. She actually barred my number. Like right now, I can't reach her. Whenever I try to call her, it says um, number busy or number not reachable or something. Just one of those stories that it says went on, like, buzz your number. But it's okay, you know. I've experienced that. It has passed. And I just hope that in the future, I will be more lucky than I've been in the past. And just just be careful who you bring into your houses. Like, just be careful because these agents, they are in this business for the money. They don't care about the well-being of these girls because at the end of the day, they share this people's salary like from that her salary she still has a percentage that she gives to the agent they just use these people basically as slaves and sincerely i'm all for getting someone to help you you can get someone to help you but you don't have to treat that person like a slave or what like treat treat someone how you want to be treated that is my own thing and that is how i treat people but these agents they don't care they just send these people off to like they just get anybody willing to do it and send them off to anywhere they don't even care the family they're sending person to and they don't care the kind of person they're sending to those families they don't care what the person is going to do because where are you making noise they don't care what the person is going to do they just don't care they're in need for the business and i'm sure they make millions from it so before you bring someone into your house just be very careful Right now, I'm into just trying to get someone that I know somehow, maybe someone from my village, someone I know their family, someone that I can make an impact in their life and they can make an impact in my life. Because as much as they need me, I need them also. Like, it might, like you, I can't be an island. Like, I, I, can, I need help when it comes to like things around the house and even with the kids. So as much as I need them, you know, they need me even more. And I just want someone that appreciate that, someone that I will appreciate what the person is doing for me and someone that will appreciate what I'm doing for that person. So that is really where I'm at right now. That is why I'm making the video and this one is sleeping on, sleeping on my body and his hair playing, making noise and just, you guys, it's really impossible. But anyways, yeah, that is my horror story, my husband horror story. And I just wanted to come up here and tell you guys the story. I'm a storyteller, so I like telling stories. Hope you guys enjoyed my story today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys